So hello, um, as you clicked on the link, this is a video about the changes that happened in PlanetSide. Um, and I had a very unique opportunity um, because I haven't played the game um, since the patch yet and I logged in and I'm usually a player in all games that um, has a very good feel for mechanics, for mouse movement, for um, changes to basically how the core of the game behaves. That's that's for Counter Strike Global Offensive. That's for Planet Side, and that that was for Battlefield Three, for example, as well. So I logged in and I took that opportunity and paid attention very carefully what felt off and what felt differently, and I found out some some pretty interesting things, um, some weird things that shouldn't have happened with that patch or with that change to how the flight mechanics work and how they had to change the maybe f I don't know if it's the physics engine or if if it has um, changed the way of how controls or inputs are um, handled in the game so check out that footage it's more of like a uh, um, compilation of things that I noticed um, just to keep keep track of it so um, we know what's wrong and we can check if it gets fixed. Okay, have fun, see you guys later. So, everybody knows by now that the devs have changed the flight controls with the intention of making it easier for the console players, uh, um, PS4 players, to control the aircraft. So, what they did, or what they had to do to change the the mechanics is they had to change the way how input into the game and how controls are handled. Um, I'm not gonna really go into the depths of, of this. If you want, um, check out the Reddit threads that are out there. Um, some of them explain it quite quite well. Um, the effects it has is that if you try to aim at something, you overcompensate, and your your aim feels really not like you want it to be so you for example the up and down movement the start of it the acceleration from from being stationary to to going up and down is very jerky and that creates the the impression like you're over aiming i can't really talk much more about the flight mechanics because i'm not a pilot um but even for me right after logging in it felt very weird and the actual precision of um, you aiming at targets and keeping the aim on the targets while doing advanced maneuvers has changed and that in some kind of bad way so okay you're in you're an infantry player or you're a tanker and you think okay well that's completely fine for me no it isn't because the thing that should only affect the flight mechanics has carried over to some things yeah okay here see this I don't know what that is but it bugs out the weapon draw animation I don't know if it has to do something about the the way physics are handled now after this updates or or it's just some some buggy animations that happens with all weapons um, the changes they did to the flight mechanics have carried over in some way to almost all parts of planetside gameplay right now and I'm gonna show you um, I logged in and the first th thing I noticed um, I wasn't playing planetside for like maybe a week before that so I still had the, the muscle memory and the feeling of one week before the thing is, there is some weird thing going on when you side, when you AD, AD. Just look at the hand um, at the left arm doing some weird things. So, and now if I go faster, it becomes jerky. The screen becomes shaky when I do AD, AD. And you see the arm spazzing out. And the same thing happens when you ADS. It's more noticeable when you have a high movement speed weapon. So, do you see the 
the actual rectangle um, that displays, it it starts to jerk around when I AD AD fast. Why is that? And I didn't really know why. But then, um, after playing around with it a bit, it seems like if you side strafe to the right, for example, or to the left, and you let go of A, you stop immediately without any inertia left. And you go to the right and you stop immediately. And this creates, you stop, you stop, you stop. So there is something wrong with the, with the inertia of players and with the inertia of everything that has a weight in the game. Yeah. So the unintentional side effect of it is, for example, if you um, want to use the gauze saw before the patch and you were side strafing while ADSing, um, you had to counter strafe to be able to shoot very precise after um, after AD ADing or after going to the left out of cover, for example. Let me show it to you outside. Um, let's see where where can we go? Yeah. For example, I want to shoot at that at that rocket pod here, and I go out of cover, and I wanted to shoot at him right away. I would have to press D, then press A for a short amount of time to stop my movement, so I don't have the the movement accuracy that is really bad with the god saw. So D, short press of A, and then you would stop faster than you would do if you would have normally pressed only D and let go of it. Now it's just instant stop and you're precise after letting go of A or D right away. D, stop, unprecise, stop, precise. It's everything completely precise after I let go of the movement key. So that's not really a bad thing, it's just a simplification, um, but yeah, it was some skill involved to be able to counter strafe D and hit A for a short amount of time and then have the fastest um, time where he could shoot accurately after that. It doesn't really get noticed in Planet Side because all the other guns um, that are different than the God Saw have good m movement accuracy and um, it doesn't affect them at all because you basically you almost never stop in Planet Side anyway. But with the God Saw, you had to do it to be actually precise and to get headshots as fast as possible after moving, counter strafing. Completely, you don't have to do it anymore. Okay, so I think that's the next thing that is affected by the way controls and how weight is is handled in the, in the game, and that has to do something with the flight changes. So that that carried over to here. Then the next thing is even funnier. Uh, light assault, jump jet six. So what changed here? What some people were saying um, is they felt like they needed more fuel to go anywhere. Um, what I felt was initially that, but then I noticed that my usual way, or that the usual way of um, keeping your your speed while jump chatting um, around corners, for example, like like you would see see Vonik do so often or so, jumps somewhere down, side strafes, and then comes up again and shoots at the guy here. Yeah, so normally you would keep the inertia, you would jump somewhere, press D and then go in a circle and try to reach it sh the thing here. And you see, I'm going e slower every time I try to move to the right. So you would only press a strafe key and then look sideways 
to where you want to go and you would like bend your um, turn that you wanted to make with that. The thing with this patch is every time you even touch A or D while flying you will lose momentum and you will lose speed. So if you want to be fast now it's just press W and go forward. That's one way of uh, doing thing. It. Press W and go forward. That's better than than pressing A or D. And then you do the combination of it. You don't touch A and D anymore. You just press W and now you do those bending turns that will actually give you speed. Okay, so you so did you see the difference? Okay, I'm pressing, for example, I want to go to the right here, I want to go around this turret, I'm pressing D now. You see, I'm losing momentum, I'm not even reaching like, like over here. Okay, let's do it with W, only W. Oops, okay, let's do it again. <laughs> Get the turret. <clears throat> and you immediately see the difference how fast I get over here and how, how much momentum I can keep. Um, if you try to do the same thing with pressing for example for this case W and A you will get slowed down a little bit more. So, only pressing W is the way to go now, apparently. I don't know wh why they changed that, but uh, you will lose less fuel, you will keep more momentum, um, and it will feel like it did before the patch, where you could do these awesome uh, bending, bending jumps around towers and be really fast and mobile. So something for the light assaults is affected by the change as well. And I think again it's because of the change they had to do or they wanted to do to how weighted objects behave in the game. So next thing, lightning or tanks in general, turrets even. Um, again here the acceleration to maximum turning speed after you start um, your movement of the mouse has has been increased so so it feels like the weight of the turret is not really s simulated anymore it's just sped up for the first uh, from from zero velocity to to going maximum speed it just is accelerated it goes faster to the left and faster to the right so if I try to do like a very minute um, aiming from from like from ex from example like here to here my muscle memory tells me okay I have to move my mouse this far yeah but then it just it just accelerates uh, um, further than it did before that's because it goes faster to the maximum velocity. So if I do that now here, you will see how it feels really weird. Just jerks around. And that's the same for the for the infantry AD ADing. It's the same jerky movement when you go go left to right. There is no inertia of the gun anymore. I don't know if that's bad or or if that's good. But it certainly is a change, and changes to how the basics of the game function, and that we're used to for more than two years now, um, and that I feel weren't intentional. Um, even for infantry, it's always a bad, bad thing. 
Luckily, this this jerky behavior of of the AD ADing doesn't translate to the other client. Like if I would have an enemy standing here, and he's looking at me, he doesn't see me glitching around so fast. My intentions with this video was to keep track of the changes that have been made to um, the core mechanics of Planetside, um, and. I felt the need to do so because apparently the devs are willing to change core mechanics of Planetside to, to benefit better controllability for the console players. That's all fine. And they do so and they, um, they make these changes um, with the impression they, they will only affect a small, small portion of the game and then make these changes that they are acceptable for the PC players. But what it seems like is that they don't notice that they affect a whole different part of what they want to change, like infantry gameplay, like tanks, um, turrets not functioning anymore, like sniper bullet drop, there are some reports of it that um, there is a different bullet drop for sniper rounds and for tank rounds, um, and they don't even notice. So the principle behind what they want to do is fine. They want to optimize for consoles and they think we can do it in a way that the PC players won't notice or, or it won't change anything for them. But right now we have a patch that has affected the whole game um, in not really a bad way for infantry players, but there are um, changes to it that weren't intentional and the devs don't even notice. So so I think we should um, keep track of these changes, post it on Reddit, keep reminding them and um, maybe we will get to a point where um, feedback from us um, comes to a point that it, um, it will affect on how the changes are handled because changes need to happen apparently but devs don't really play the game apparently because they would notice these things if they would play it more.